So here we have the Land Rover Freelander. Obviously, as spoke with yourself on the phone, I thought I'd just get a quick video, very sure you and your partner can see the car. Obviously, it looked absolutely fantastic, uh, especially sort of in the black with the silver alloys and the side step. For me personally, I'm a big fan of these cars. Great off-roads and just great all-round sort of family wagons. Obviously, first things first, you notice sort of the uh, off and for sight uh, sort of grey that they do. Also matches with the badge, which is quite nice. It's a fresh number plates on there. Your big lights, obviously, still get a bit of your height. You can see how sort of the, the quality of the paint works, not lost that sort of light new. Still beading on top. Now, I know it's quite hard to see, but from what I can see, there's no sort of detriment in the quality of the paint or in terms of sort of condition. Um, now, looking around the car, I have had a wander around. Obviously, I know it's harder to see in the wet, um, but I can't see any dents or anything that's sort of imperfections on the vehicle. Obviously, it is expected. I mean, we're looking at a 2012 car that's done, I think, 70-odd 70, 70 thousand miles. So it is expected, but obviously, just looking down the wing, you've not got any sort of uh, signs of rust or anything, even on the alloys as well. Really good condition on there. Land Rover sign in the middle with your lock and wheel up. And obviously looking down the side of the car, we've not got any sort of dings from where the doors um, or anything that's sort of penetrating through the paintwork. Obviously, you can hear that Alpine driving over for Christmas. That's nice getting everyone in the Christmassy mood. Obviously, you've got your park cloth and plastic, like with that big Alpine speaker in there as well. Now, obviously, big spacious glove box and even the condition of the seats, absolutely fantastic. Can't see any stains or anything like that. No tears along the bottom uh, or where people have been getting in and out. Obviously going into the back, you've got your privacy glass. Also going through, you've got the cloth and the door cards, well, the plastic, Alpine speakers all the way through. And again, ice fix points in the rear. To be fair, in the back, it looks like there's almost been no one sat in there. Really good condition, still got sort of the plumb. And obviously you've got a bit of your storage there as well. Now, rear alloy, again, same condition to the front. No scuffs, marks or anything like that. Let's see back, you get the big square lights. Freelander, obviously, with your tow hitch on the right, and the exhaust on the left. Going underneath, obviously, you've got your diesel. Um, if you ever need to sort of add fuel for a jerry can that's just there to assist you, you've got your spare wheel underneath there. And obviously, your retractable parcel shelf as well, all in working order. Now going around the car, again, obviously driver's side now, alloys in absolutely great condition, all there is is just that small mark there, obviously Land Rover sign, side step there as well, all in good work in use, again, got the Alpine, uh, the ice fix points, now you do also have the tag to obviously pull those up on both sides. Now jumping into the driver's seat, obviously this is where you're going to be spending most of the time, Starting off, obviously you've got your automatic lights. You don't need to worry about those. Just simply leave those on along with your automatic window wipers as well. Obviously your multifunction steering wheel with your Bluetooth connectivity. Obviously answering your phone, things like that. Your horns all on there as well as your cruise control. Obviously you've got your automatic, uh, where well your window, sorry, indicators. You've also got your stop start. And obviously all your details in terms of your dials there as well. Obviously I don't know too much about the spec. You've got your dual climate control on there, which you can see, obviously sort of the Alpine system, really here in that. Obviously you've got loads of storage, two 12 volt cigarette lighters in there, cup holders, your manual six speed gearbox, handbrake, and obviously off-road settings as well. So there we have it, the 2012 Land Rover Freelander. Thank you very much, and I'll be in contact with you shortly.